Alright guys, so in the previous video we have seen how to install the Android Studio software. So in this video we will be looking at how to create our very first project in Android Studio. So let's get started. Open up the Android Studio software. So now once the studio has been opened, you can select the first option that is the start a new project. Uh, the application name can be anything as per your convention. I'll keep it as first app. And the package name, you can also change it because the package name should be unique per project. For example, if you're creating this application which needs to be hosted onto the Play Store, then make sure that this pack package name that you're putting on over here is not already existing on the Play Store. If that is the case, then your application will not be accepted by the Google Play Store. So keep that thing in mind. Next, you can select the default project location. So I'll keep this as D drive. I'll make a folder for it. Android projects. Oh, sorry, that went into the C. No issues. I'll just click OK. And hit Next. Now, you can see that there are a lot of APIs available over here. So, from all these APIs, the best one as of today's date is the version 4.4 .4 because all the Android devices right now are at least having the 4.4 .4 version. So that will cover up around 95% of the market. So we'll select the API 19 and hit the next button. Now, there are a lot of templates that Android Studio is already giving us pre-built, but we'll be looking at each and every one of them in the future videos. But for this video purpose, we'll be taking a look at just this one, that is the empty activity. So just select this empty activity and click next. Now, the main activity. This is the name of the activity from where your application will start. So make sure that you are keeping this as main activity or you can keep it as start activity or something which you might come to know that this is the starting point of my project. So I'll keep it as main activity and hit the finish button. So now all the components are being getting initialized for your very first app. The Gradle is building. So just give it a few seconds to build. Alright guys, so now the first application has been created. So we are getting some tips over here. So probably you can take a look at them. Or you can just hit the close button. Okay, so now as you can see that on the left hand side we are having the project, the structure and the captures option. So our, so we'll be taking a look at the first one that is the project. Now. Inside project, you're having a folder name as app, and the second one is the Gradle scripts. So, the app has three more folders in it. That is the manifest, Java, and the resources. So now let us take a look at the manifest file. So just expand it and hit the Android manifest.xml. So what basically this file has is, you'll be storing all the permissions. For example, if you require a permission for internet, or if you want to access the call, then you'll be putting all the permissions over here. The permissions will be put down over here. Next, if you are creating an activity, then the activity will be automatically added over here. Sorry. Then the activity will be added down over here. Also, if you are creating any services or receivers in your project, then they should also be put down in the applications directory which means that the manifest.xml file is the main file which will link your entire project i hope that you have got some basic understanding of what this file is all right so now let's move on to the next one the next one is the java so now in the java folder you can see that there is a file named as main activity so you can just double click it so what this main activity is it is the starting point of your project which is 
linking to this activity underscore main layout file which can be found out in the resources folder under layouts so this is the layouts folder so this is the layouts file uh, so we'll be looking at layouts in the next video because I'll be just covering on the folder structure in this video so next one is the example instrumented test you probably don't have to take a look at this one because we won't be looking into this part the next one is the application also you do not have to worry about this this code over here so mainly we'll be dealing only in this first folder wherein you can create multiple subfolders for example if you're having fragments activities receivers then probably you can just segregate them into folders down over here next is the resources folder so in the resources folder we are having the first one as drawable so in drawable you'll be storing all the images the shapes and all the components that are that are required for designing now inside this drawable folder you can also have multiple drawables for example depending upon the screen resolution of your Android device there there are around three to four other folders available that I'll be putting down in the description below so you can just check them out and the next one is the layouts folder so all the layouts of your entire Android application will be listed down over here on the layouts folder the next one is the map map which contains the icons for your launcher so as you can see that there are five different resolutions available over here depending upon the screen resolution ranging from very small device to tablets next we are having the values folder so inside the values the first one is the colors.xml file so whatever colors that are required for you and this project you can just put them down over here and you can use them anywhere inside your project just by referring this name the next one is the dimensions now this dimension will consist of the dimensions which are required for your layout folders also you can have multiple dimensions depending upon your screen resolutions mm. so let's move on to the next so over here is the strings.xml now whatever strings that you will be using in this entire studio project you can put them down over here inside the strings just by putting another string and naming it for example if you want exit so exit tab so you can just put any number of string over here and inside your code you can just refer them by this name so the strings folder or the strings file increases the code reusability also you can be having multiple string files depending upon the language and the last one is the styles.xml so over here you can create your custom styles for your android studio project so over here we can see that there is a style name as app theme which is the default style by android studio now so for example if you do not want the action bar that is this action bar over here so you can just double click this and hit no action bar so the action bar will just get rid as you can see that there is no action bar available over here so we have covered the app the manifest java and the resources folders now moving down to the gradle scripts now we'll be looking at the second file over here which is the build.gradle file now inside this you can add n number of dependencies now what exactly is a dependency for example if you want your project to show some advertisements so for that we need to require we need to use some third party libraries so that will be imported over here using the dependencies so we'll be looking into that at some later point so in the next video we'll be looking at how to code a very basic application in Android Studio but before that we'll be looking at how to set up an emulator so what exactly is an emulator we'll be looking into that in the next one so guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next one Peace.